this here is all about my wife, my kids, the life that I live through the night. I was his, it was right what I did. My ups and downs, my slips, my falls, my trials and tribulations, my heart, my walls, my mother, my father. I love him, I hate him. It was God, I didn't have him, but I'm glad that he made him. The roaches, the rats, the strays, the cats, the guns, knives, and bats. Every time I scrap, the hustler, the daily, the robber, the stealing. Welcome back to part two of the Industrial Revolution. In this episode, we will be discussing the minds behind the Industrial Revolution, starting off with James Hargreaves. James Hargreaves was probably the single most important man to the Industrial Revolution due to how he started it all. He brought forward the idea of using machines instead of people to mass-produce items. His idea was shown off in July 12, 1770, when he patented his idea for the spinning jenny, a device that could spin several threads of yarn at a time, making the production of things such as clothing much more efficient. You could say that James Hargreaves is the Bill Gates of his time period. James Hargreaves was soon passed by Samuel Crompton, a man of innovation. When he was young, he spun cotton on a spinning jenny, but there were many defects in the device that made Samuel decide to make a better version. After spending all of his time and money on the product, in 1779, he produced a machine that drew out and gave the final twisting to the cotton fibers at the same time. Sadly, he never had enough money to make a patent for it, so many businesses used his idea free of cost. Samuel Crompton was the perfect mold for an innovator. He saw a problem and then worked hard to fix it, and that is exactly what he did. The atmospheric engine invented by Thomas Newcomen was very important because of how it inspired the creation of the steam engine. It was the very first fuel burning engine in 1712, which was a big deal at the time. Now, of course, the atmospheric engine is important, but what we really care about is the steam engine. James Watt, a Scottish mechanical engineer who created the immensely popular Watt steam engine in 1776. Watt found a problem with the mass amounts of steam lost in Newcomen's engine and decided that improvements could be made. The invention that solved this problem was named the separate condenser. Watt's idea was to separate the two actions of heating the cylinder with hot steam and cooling it to condense, lowering the loss of heat by an extremely high amount. You know, a lot of people don't realize how important factories are in the present. We produce so many things in factories it's pretty much something we don't. So, who do we have to thank for one of the very first factories? John Loam, whose factory used water power to mass produce silk products. Our last inventor is Joseph Adspin, the creator of cement. In 1824, he patented the chemical process for making it. His process involved compacting a mixture of clay and limestone to around 1400 degrees. This then was ground into a fine powder and mixed with sand and gravel to make cement. It is one of the most important products in the construction industry, so Aspen made a fortune on this new material. As you can see, geography, climate, and economy weren't the only things that made the revolution happen in Great Britain. The people of the nations were motivated to change their way of life by making new inventions or by improving on old ones. This concludes our two-part series. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something not only about the invention, but the face behind the invention.